All right, devlog for March 2024. This will be hopefully a very short run because I really only have two things I want to show. I've mostly been working on the progress of uh, level 5, which is coming along quite nicely. I am very much looking forward to finishing level 5 because after level 5 we go back to... Uh, when we go to level 6 we go basically back to human enemies because the... Uh, level 3, level 4 and level 5 take place on uh, basically the demon world and then at level 6 you go back to a human uh, base and as you know, so I have a whole bunch of ideas for robotic and mech enemies that I honestly can't wait to work on I'm really done working on uh, demon enemies and I'm very happy to go back to a sci-fi I mean it's still sci-fi setting obviously when you're in the demon world but I really want to work on sci-fi environments and sci-fi uh, enemies so yeah but the two enemies i will be uh introducing in map 5 will be the rosorian sentinel this was actually once this character originally was in the demo but i cut her out because uh unfinished mostly and i didn't want to introduce too many enemies in the demo so yeah uh, can cast the shield we'll hold it up and then throw the shield at you but you can actually destroy the shield before it hits you. So yeah. So that's a combination of a melee attack and a ranged attack. This is actually something I had to do for during for the I did a small rework like a while ago that basically allows me to bind multiple. Basically the the entire attack logic is now incredibly versatile, so I can bind different attack logics to a, a single attack, basically. So that slash attack. This one is basically a combination of a melee attack and a um, yeah a projectile attack. So if you're really close to the sentinel and she does the slash, you can actually get hit by a melee attack. Besides also getting hit by the projectiles. So yeah, um, I'm gonna show in case the shield. Now one thing that is not finished right now. This was once finished, but during the many reworks, I basically broke it. Uh, what I'm talking about is the shield. So you can actually destroy the shield. So shield, and that will that will explode the shield and will actually cause damage to the sentinel. Uh, there is still a bug where even after the shield is destroyed, she will still throw it, which is obviously a bug, and I need to fix that. Um, and another problem is that the shield doesn't show how damaged it is. It should actually lower in opacity as you damage it. And it should also get more red instead of uh, orange. But once that's done, that enemy is completely finished because all the animations and all of the weapon stats and stuff, that's all done. An enemy that is very much still work in progress is the Fury Dominator, which is a, a Fury, like from in the demo, but um, ground-based. And it is... This is an enemy I really looked forward. This is actually an enemy that uh, conceptually was actually one of the first enemies I've ever had. Uh, the model of this enemy I've already had done for a very long time. I've actually already used it in like some uh, thumbnails. Uh, all of the animations are extremely rough. Like these are not finished animations. Uh, and the same goes for uh, many of the effects of the attacks. They just are not finished but this is basically a very complex projectile slash melee enemy that is probably the most interesting attack oh i fell the those two pillars of uh no five pillars of light that i basically had to program today because i had to finish that in order to showcase it so i did all the i had to make some new attack logic actually i didn't have to make new attack logic i had to make a new uh type of uh, damaging environment which is i've called the uh the pyre so it's they're basically like pyres of light from somewhere i roughly base it off like a paladin's character who has like this is for the most part based on the paladin's character i don't know what her name is i actually never played paladins but it's like the only character i know because the streamer i used to watch play that character once and it's basically basically just swings her sword and then uh, just pillars of light come down so i right now just have a very rough effect for that so the attacks are she has five attacks which are make her very complex so again that's the most interesting one with those pillars that you have to dodge so she has this projectile spread which is pretty difficult to dodge you actually have to if you see that attack coming you have to immediately back out and uh, take distance yeah that attack is brutal that's basically just a whole bunch of fireballs that also the normal fury throws but just 10 of them in a wide spread so yeah you have to look at them see where they're going and try and dodge them it's a very 
I'm very much leaning into this almost bullet hell type of uh, enemy design. I've not yet really gone through the most extreme part of that bullet hell, but it's it it gets closer. And this is really probably the best enemy I've made so far, at least. Uh, in this unfinished state, what I wanted her to be right, right now is just very unfinished. This uh, you probably want to find cover. If, yeah. So yeah, very dangerous enemy. I can't stay alive for very long, so I'm definitely gonna also introduce them like multiple at a time, which is going to be a lot of fun and very tricky. Yeah, and she also has a uh, close range slam. So she can do like this one. So you also don't want to get too close. That's also a combination attack. So she does two attack logics uh, during that slam. A melee strike that does a lot of damage if you get caught by the sword. And she also has this, uh, the blast of like uh, landing the hit on the floor. Which really needs an uh, explosion effect so you can tell what's going on. And she shares for a large part uh, in that uh, slash animation. That's also a combination attack, similar to the Sentinel, where she does a melee slash and also fires projectiles at the same time. And yeah, that's really an enemy I'm working on. It's, I think that's, that's really going to be the highlight enemy. I think every game has a highlight enemy, or an enemy that pe people visually find interesting and also uh, an enemy that's visually interesting and also an enemy that has very interesting attack patterns. And this is definitely going to be that enemy. Again, probably, yeah. Just a very fun enemy. I do really need to improve the animations because right now the animations are just very weightless and derpy, especially the running animation. But once that's all like nailed down to uh, better standards, it's gonna be a very cool enemy. And again, also the design. A boss enemy. So yeah, it's basically Fury, but like with uh, red armor and like ornate details all around. You can't really see it in action, but I have a. Uh, I, I'll probably put it in the thumbnail again. I, even though I've already had her in the thumbnail. Uh, <laughs> now is the best time, I think, to showcase uh, her in the thumbnail. Actually, I think I... Oh, I can't remember. I think in one of my short deck gift looks, I also showcase her. But yeah, um, this is already getting way too long for the amount of stuff I'm talking about. So that's what I'm working on. I'm hoping to finish level 5 uh, in April and then move on to level 6. And hopefully I will get to showcase some human enemies uh, next month. So yeah, that's it. <laughs>